Hello, Akabaka. Um, on your answer post, you were uh, you were saying you were unable to get masks working in Unreal Engine. So let's real quickly do something like that. This is the flag that you want to have masks. So all the small black pieces should be masked off. Now let's do this really quick. Uh, I'm gonna select uh, color range. Get those things going. Okay. Get a new image going and make these. Black again, as you can see now. Which are all black. There. Should be all of them. Yeah. Okay, and this could be a separate image. You could either put it in the alpha of your texture or a separate uh, image. But I think knowing, understanding that you don't understand masking, you are probably quite the beginner. Apologies if you're not. So let's do it really easy. I'm going to get this image going. So I'm going to. Make sure it's black and white. I'm gonna combine them. I'm gonna select it all and I'm gonna copy it there. Now in the channels, I'm gonna add a new layer called the alpha. And we're gonna paste the black and white image we had. Control V, there we go. And now this is the alpha channel. As you can see, the black parts are now red. Now I'm going to save this image as the TGA. I'm going to do it on my desktop for now. Uh, TGA. I'm going to call it flag because well, it's a flag. And there, it's going to be 32 bits because we need the alpha channel. I'm going to save it. Now I have this project open, so I'm going to do it here and probably uh, I still need a real test folder, but. Um, Let's do it. Actually, let's create a new boss test folder. Okay. Because I'm going to delete it afterwards, probably. I'm going to import the flag that I just made. There we go. And this is the flag. As you can see, there is no alpha channel because reasons. And the size is correct. Let me double check. Uh, the alpha channel is active, that's been selected, well, save as TGA alpha channel, so I forgot to enable that one, apologies, okay, well, save, I want to override it, yes, 32 bits, save, and now I'm going to re-import it, there we go, just press the re-import button, and because the alpha channel is now present, it will automatically load it. Since we're not going to use transparency, it's going to be masked. Uh, let's see what else do we need to enable. It's probably going to be world. Uh, we don't need power of two mode. SRGB is fine. Everything else seems to be okay. Safe. Now I'm going to make a material real quick. New material. Material flag. There we go. And get a texture channel going. Let's get the flag. Okay. These are the four channels you have, the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. The red, green, and blue channel together makes the texture, the colors, like this. I'm going to highlight it a little bit by using emissive for now, so it's a bit brighter there. The alpha channel, the fourth sample, is what's uh, controlling the masked stuff. So if I put it in the base color, and the same with emissive color, you can definitely see there's some black stuff going on here. I'm going to plug this back into the base color and the emissive color for highlighting purposes. And then we're going to set the shade model, uh, no, the blend mode to mask. As you can see, the opacity mask is now available, so let's plug it in. And as you can see, the black stuff is now visible. Uh, that should actually be it. If you put something else behind it, then it should just show like that. Uh, let me get a real and place it on this cube. And apologies for the cut. She wants attention. Let me see the texture. GB. Okay. And as you can see, there are now holes there. And that's all you need to know. Hopefully, that's helpful. Uh, take care.